Snakes have been an intricate part of human culture for as long as there has been records. Many people fear snakes and some people even demise them, while others take a keen liking to such animals. Snakes can make some of the best pets while living around other species can be very detrimental to your health. One thing is for certain, India has one of the highest numbers of snake bite cases on earth, and this is including fatalities. India is home to an estimated 65 venomous snakes, 16 of which have caused deaths. We are going to take a look at the top four. The first snake worth mentioning is iconic in India. It is the Indian Cobra or Naja Naja. The Indian Cobra can commonly be found around human dwellings. It's actually said that it's easier to find a Cobra in the city than it is in the wild. The next snake worth mentioning is the Indian Crate. This snake is said to have a venom so potent that the only snakes to be comparable to it are on the mainland of Australia home to the most venomous snakes on earth. A snake that's very small in stature, but still worth mentioning, is the Solskel Viper. This snake is notorious for having a massive range, and throughout its entire range it is considered the deadliest snake in the world. But in India, one snake reigns supreme, and that is the Russell's Viper, or Deboya Russelli, and that's the snake we're going to be taking a look at tonight. So the reason I am doing this video tonight is to open up people's eyes as to why India has a snake epidemic. In India, from the year of 2000 to 2019, it was recorded that 1.2 million people died from venomous snake bite. To put this into perspective, Australia has some of the most venomous snakes on earth, yet only three people die a year in Australia, where 50,000 die in India. In this beautiful Russell's Viper is known to kill 10,000 people throughout its range every single year. First thing you might be asking yourself is why does India have such a snake problem? Well, India is home to 1 billion people. That is a lot of people for such a small area. And when people move in, rodents have a tendency to move in right behind them. And what is every snake's favorite food? Well, rodents, of course. Now I might point out that the Indian crate is a snake eater and not a rodent eater, but as the snakes move in to eat the rodents, so does the Indian crate following the other snakes. Not only is India very densely populated, people have a tendency to walk around India without shoes on or wearing flip-flops. This offers very little protection. Not only that, the Solskill Viper and Russell's Viper are ambush predators. They sit and wait, blended into the leaf litter or the rocks, waiting for something to come close enough. Sometimes that's a human foot. Not only that, in India, people typically sleep on the ground or very close to the ground. With open rooms and cracks in the floor, it's very easy for a snake to make their way in. Many people do get bit in their sleep. I think it's also worth mentioning that in India, these people have lived along these snakes for many years. So they have their own beliefs when it comes to treating snake bites. Even people that understand how the venom works sometimes relate to how they've been treating snake bites for years, which in some cases, this is just putting a rock on the snake bite, what they call a snake rock, which they think will pull the venom out of the bite area. There's also some concoctions made from plants rubbed on the wound, which offers little to no help. And without medical treatment, the four snakes that I've already mentioned, plus a few others, will prove to be fatal. I have also heard of stories out of India where people moving through the night sometimes are so comfortable with their surroundings, they won't even use a flashlight. In this case, it's almost like playing Russian roulette. It's a matter of time until someone steps on a venomous snake. Now just to clarify, I'm not trying to demean anybody from India. I know that a few people that watch my page are from India, and that's amazing. I'm just trying to touch base on what I think the biggest problems are when it comes to venomous snake bite and how we could possibly fix this issue. Because losing 1.2 million people to venomous snake bite in the last 19 years 
is just insane to me. I think that we can live alongside these creatures. I just think that the proper precautions need to be taken. I did want you to notice throughout this video, while I'm handling the deadliest snake in India, he is trying to get away from me the entire time. He does not want the conflict. And I've heard many people say that the Russell's Viper has a very short fuse, but this guy really does not want any part of me. According to a statistic I recently read, it stated that up to 80% of venomous snake bites that occur in India are due to harassment of the snake. Now this could be unintentional, you know, putting on your shoes, I guess that could count. But I think many times over, it's people trying to get the snake out of their dwelling and not knowing how to handle it, or possibly trying to kill the animal. Another interesting part to that statistic is that four out of five people bitten are men. Now you can equate this to high testosterone or possibly even the hold my beer and watch this. But I think it also could be that these people are trying to watch out for their household. So they're trying to move the snake for their wife and it just doesn't work out for them. Now there are many licensed snake handlers in India that know exactly what they're doing. But these guys have a very busy job needless to say. But we're going to have to come up with some sort of resolution because the the snakes aren't going anywhere. The bigger the city grows, it seems as if the more dense the snakes become because the rodent population goes up. When you can go to the jungle and look all night and only find two cobras, but you can go to the city and find 40 in two hours, there is a problem. Now on my channel I always preach save the snakes. Snakes are very important, and they are, but at the same time, so is human lives. So we really need to take a look at this and figure out the best solution. I think with this video and these numbers coming to light, this might just be the step in the right direction. On my ending note, I wanted to mention how beneficial snake venom is to the medical industry. I know that a lot of people are terrified of snakes and they think that the only good snake is a dead snake, but that can't be farther from the truth. This little snake that we've been looking at this entire time, the Russell's Viper or Deboya Russelli, one of the most toxic snakes in the world and the deadliest in India, also has a very crucial ingredient in its venom. Its venom has the ability to make blood clot very rapidly. In the medical industry, they're actually using this venom to check the ability for the blood to clot making sure that the patient's blood still has clotting abilities. In the upcoming weeks, I'm gonna have a species profile on Deboya Russelli or the Russell's Viper. And I will also be doing more videos on Cobras and other Vipers. So if you enjoy content like this, make sure you like and subscribe and show your friends. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And just remember, snakes play a very important role in our natural ecology. And just remember, if you know somebody with a debilitating disease that we don't have a cure for yet, it might just be inside snake venom. So you don't have to love them, but you should learn how to tolerate them. Have a good night.